Today I am delighted to be taking my first dive into the Hammond collection here on Jurassic Collectibles. With a closer look at both the single car back human figure of Dr. Ian Malcolm and the single car back figure of the Jurassic Park Velociraptor, both retailing for around $14.99. Let's start by taking a look at our ever beloved Jeff Goldblum. Starting by looking at the box, we can see that the Hammond collection incorporates a great new design for the Jurassic line, which feels as though it matches that collector's feel incredibly well. I also love the inclusion and design of the Hammond Collection logo here, featuring a gorgeous new render of the top of the amber cane, complete with the man himself inside. This also appears on one side of the box art, while the other side features a great render of Ian alongside a logo which shows us that this is based on the character's appearance in Jurassic Park. The back of the box then features a short bio for Ian Malcolm, alongside a render of the figure as it is included. As we crack open this figure, we can also see the grey amber card back which is included on the interior of the figure's packaging, adding some nice colour and branding to the packaging for this figure. When we get Malcolm out of the packaging, you can see we have this figure in his suit jacket, alongside interchangeable arms and also a flare. I really like how this version of Malcolm packs two costumes into one package, creating some great extra value for this figure which I appreciate. The suit jacket doesn't feature a huge amount of detail, but it works well as a jacket for Malcolm nonetheless, and it's a welcome rendition of his early appearance in the film. It's worth noting that this figure packs some additional articulation when compared to classic legacy collection figures, including a hinge at the wrist as well as a swivel, double jointed knees and also a rocker joint at the ankle. The flare here is a welcome accessory, even if it is similar to the ones we have seen included with other 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. Malcolm also features interchangeable arms, allowing us to capture him in his iconic Jurassic Park appearance. It's worth noting that the suit jacket arms can feel like they may break when you're swapping them due to the joints being a slightly softer plastic, so take your time when swapping these and be careful with the joints. When we get Malcolm in this outfit, a lot more of the enhanced details that come with the Hammond collection become apparent. There is an attempt to add detail to the watch on his wrist, details in the necklace around his neck, and even additional detail for the metal spurs on his boots. When we compare this to the Legacy Collection figure, we can see that a lot of the details pop a lot more than I initially anticipated, and it also feels as though this figure is better proportioned. The last thing of note with this figure is the head sculpt. Like with the Legacy Collection figure, the glasses can be removed, and although they do leave holes for the tabs which connect them, the facial paint applications here feel much more aligned with the Amber Collection, which is incredible for this scale. Overall, I am really happy with Malcolm. I think the new articulation will be popular with toy photographers, and I also think there are more additional details packed in here than I anticipated, making this a worthy upgrade from the Legacy Collection. I really hope we get figures from all six films um, in this new collection. This review isn't over, however, so now let's take a look at the Velociraptor. The box art which we see here is the same as on Malcolm's packaging, featuring the same branding and overall layout which Mattel have set out for the Hammond collection. The big difference here is the render on the side, showing the Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. We also have the bio for this dinosaur on the back of the packaging as well. I was able to film a slightly better unboxing of this figure compared to Malcolm, so on screen now you can get a better look at how this figure looks when it's pulled out in the cardboard sleeve. Getting this figure out of the packaging, I have to admit I was mind blown. This is the Velociraptor figure which I have been dreaming of for many years, and I find it hard to believe that Mattel have managed to achieve such a fantastic figure at this scale. We joke a lot about having too many raptors in our collection, but this is genuinely a figure I would like to see more of. 
The articulation packed into this figure hits a great balance, not providing so much that it is hard to pose, but including enough to get some great dynamic poses. There is also some additional bend in the tail, like on the Amber Collection figures of past. I also like how we can almost simulate a snarl with the jaw here, something which adds to the display options and looks great as well. The broader details here are fantastic, with the paint applications feeling much more authentic to the Velociraptor from Jurassic Park when compared to the Legacy Collection version. I love the amount of detail packed into this figure. We get paint on the finger claws of this figure, we get additional paint on the claws of the figure's feet, and we also get plenty of additional paint apps around the body of the figure which help to inform the patterning. I also think it is worth touching on the paint around the head here, with some great paint apps for the underjaw and the underbelly, and a really well executed eye which captures the appearance of this animal. In short, the details packed in here feel pulled straight from the screen in the best possible way. To summarise, the Velociraptor from the Hammond Collection is one of the best dinosaurs Mattel have released to date. The detail for this scale truly is unparalleled, and I love the way they balance the articulation with detailing. This is a fantastic sculpt, and I really hope we get raptors from the Lost World, JP3, and Jurassic World utilising the fantastic blueprint this sculpt has created. This is a must-buy figure. So how would I sum up Wave 1 of the Hammond Collection basic figures? In a nutshell, outstanding. The enhanced detail of the Hammond Collection combined with the enriched articulation really does lead to the Jurassic Park figures which so many of us have dreamed of. These figures feel like an evolution on the best parts of the Jurassic toys we have received from Mattel since 2018, pooling all of that experience and those developments to give us some fantastic toys. This line is full of potential, and I really hope we get more. That's my thoughts, but as always, I'd love to hear yours. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and until the next video, take care and have a great week.